An innovator is someone who is not afraid to make changes, who sees opportunities and pursues them. My education put me on an even playing field with anyone I've, I've been with, anywhere I've been. When people in the workplace see the Texas Tech brand on your degree, that sheepskin means something to them. It's really special that I got to say that I'm a Texas Tech alumni, a graduate that has a gold medal. So I knew exactly where I wanted to work. I wanted to work at NASA. Having been a U.S. diplomat, every day you're out there, you feel like you're in physical contact with history. One of the things that is exciting about our students and is commented on again and again by employers are how driven our students are to succeed. No one realizes just the potential of the students here, especially the Arts and Sciences College, because we're able to have a more holistic educational experience. All of those things that the Arts and Sciences College forces you to do are so valuable, I think, for the future and being a well-rounded citizen and being able to understand everything else outside of just your one field. I'm extremely, extremely proud of uh, the strides that Texas Tech has made and is going to make moving forward in world-class research. When I was growing up, it was a teaching university and so people that wanted to do real research were choosing other universities and, and I think that the university sold itself short. Research is answering the questions that our curiosity brings up. How do we know this is true? What if this? What about that? How do we know the answers to these things? Research enhances the educational experience. It's about students rolling up their sleeves and having their the, the theories from the textbook come to life in the laboratory. You're walking into a place where you're there to discover, to find new things. The great thing about you, the Texas Tech is that they allow undergrads to get involved. So being able to work in a research laboratory is just what I love about Texas Tech. That is one of the best things I think that a student could get from a university. I think that it gives you a unique set of skills and so putting your investments into researchers gives more of an outcome, I think, than any other thing that you could put your money into. We want to show our alumni that we're taking what they have given us and we are moving forward. And we also want to make them proud that Texas Tech's name is out there in a nationally competitive sphere. Growing up on, in poverty, you don't ever think about going to college. You think about, how am I going to put food on the table? How am I going to pay rent? But I had high hopes for my daughter. We came once a month to Texas Tech to the different departments, and we were able to see all the opportunities that were there for her. When we went to the geosciences department, I fell in love with the program. I had so much fun. I was giggling like a little girl, and I thought, I could do this. I love this. That was in February. In fall, I was enrolled. My daughter is 16 now, and she still says, Mom, that's so cool that you're about to graduate college. We can have folks that come up here who will now have a future they could never dream of having. And they'll have opportunities for their kids that they never had and that their parents never had. That's America. I am a living example of the benefits of scholarship money. My dad passed away when I was 11 years old. My mom had never worked. So I didn't have a lot of money, but what I did have were a lot of dreams. And I, I wanted to be able to get an education and make a contribution to society, specifically in the human spaceflight program. I didn't have to worry, I didn't have the burden of, you know, trying to figure out how I was gonna pay tuition, this loan, that loan. So it was a, it was a blessing for me. I don't know if I'll be in this position today without my scholarship. This generation of students is going to be taking care of us later, right? I mean, we're going to place our country in their hands. We're going to place the world in their hands, the environment in their hands. And we want to prepare them. If we can help 
get the brightest students the money they need to go to college, and also the students who've been told, you're not worth a whole lot. We get the money in their hands and get them here to show them that they do have something to contribute, and I feel much more optimistic about the future of the world and the future of our country. As we improve in our national rankings, more and more students will hear of us. And those are the selective students that have a variety of options to choose from. And in order to continue to attract them to tech, we need to be able to be competitive in our scholarship and our fellowship offers. I think the students are the life of any university. So TTU is going to become famous because our students are becoming famous. They're going to make us famous by being successful. Uh, they're going to shine, and we're going to shine by reflected light. Universities are rated. Universities are ranked. Universities are judged. And we want the absolute maximum number of high-achieving students that we can get. And those students are going to go where they have the scholarship resources. So every single dollar helps. Uh, having students such as that helps every single student because that puts so much more value on a Texas Tech diploma. From here it's possible. This is the attitude that everyone is going to have. And so it's a very good attitude for faculty, for young faculty especially. If you ask for something that maybe hasn't been done before, people are going to tell you, we don't know about it, but we'll find a way to do it. And that approach is not common at all, is a very precious approach that you will find at TTU. Without the resources and the support that Texas Tech provides, I know that I would never have achieved the success that I have today. The faculty that will raise the profile of the school, raise its reputation. It's very important and if you want to attract the highest quality students to have the highest quality uh, professors. When you look around at our needs, uh, we have needs in infrastructure, we have needs in growing f faculty, we have needs in growing scholarship support and fellowship support for our undergraduate and graduate students. And we have diverse needs that simply there isn't enough money in the tuition pool to, to provide for. You have to have the private funds, there's just no way around that. Being here in Austin, you see the many demands that are made on the state and the limited resources that we have. And unless Texas Tech former students step up to the plate and contribute, we are just not going to be able to move the school forward. Those who are alum who really understand the brand of Texas Tech and what it has done for them in their lives to allow them to achieve their dreams and their careers, it takes their commitment, their investment, for us to get to that next level, it just does. I think it's incumbent on us to repay the university and specifically the College of Arts and Sciences in some small way so that we can carry it forward because now there is a whole other generation of students coming who need to benefit exactly the same way that we do. We need the help of our alumni in order to take arts and sciences to the next level. I think that being a Red Raider means stepping outside of yourself and looking at what other people need as well. Opportunity, and that's what Texas Tech to me is about. Nothing like being in LA or anywhere else and saying, I got my degree uh, from Texas Tech University, and every time, you know, somebody says, oh, that's big time. Yeah, I, thank you. Thank you. I, I'm grateful for that. Wouldn't have been ready and wouldn't have been successful had I not come to a university as great as Texas Tech. I, I always felt like I had an advantage over my uh, diplomatic colleagues because I came there with this, you know, I absorbed some of the DNA on campus. We, we don't quit, <laughs> we don't give up. I'm about to have a degree. I'm about to be a scientist. <laughs> you know, just saying I'm about to be a scientist is, is as surreal as it gets. <laughs>